This is Max Williams with United Real Estate. Today, I'm in North Chesterfield. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a three bedroom, two bath brick ranch. This home is located here in an established neighborhood. We've got many other brick ranches here in the neighborhood. This home is unique because it sits on a corner lot and the home actually faces the corner. So uh, I think it has a really nice appeal from the curb. And uh, you can see we've got some other homes here that are uh, very similar in style and construction. Just yesterday I was thinking, my mind sometimes goes in many different odd directions. And if you watched yesterday, you know I covered the historic powder room located on three and a half acres. Uh, some would refer to it as an outhouse, but I always like to look at the positive side of things. And uh, I started thinking, I was like, wow, I bet there are a lot of people here in our state that don't even have indoor plumbing. So I did a little research. Over 7,000 people don't have indoor plumbing here in the state of Virginia. And over 60% of the people worldwide that live on earth do not have indoor plumbing, which really blew me away. We are just so fortunate. Uh, when we talk about houses, we talk about bathroom count, not whether or not they have a bathroom. So uh, sometimes it's good to just pause and think about how fortunate we really are. Uh, I went today to vote this morning, and of course a lot of people on earth don't have that ability, and they would just dream of having the ability to, to choose their leaders to participate in the process. So uh, just very thankful here today, um, not only from a national standpoint, but from a real estate standpoint. I get to do what I love every single day, whether it's bringing you an outhouse or bringing you a beautiful three bedroom home like this. And as we come into this one here at the right side, have a little coat closet. This is gonna be a solid surface flooring here throughout this home. I noticed the gray and white color scheme. We've got a nice ceiling fan there to move some air around. Nice big window here at the front. Uh, so very inviting front of the home. I'm gonna actually start on the bedroom wing this time and then we're gonna work our way back. This is going to be a closet for the pantry. The kitchen is just a few feet away. And our first bedroom uh, this is going to be big enough for a queen size bed with no problem. Got good size closets here. And directly across is going to be our hall bath. Now, there are a couple things in here. I really like what they did uh, with the design here. Notice the tile on the wall. This inlay is something that you normally only see in the bath area it would normally would stop here they chose to take it all the way around in the bathroom which is a really neat feature and of course that tile uh, goes all the way down to the floor we do have a window in place a handheld detachable shower head and this bathroom also features a linen closet which is a nice plus and of course we've got tile on the floor Love this vanity as well. Plenty of storage space there. All right, as we make our way down the hallway, we have another closet. This home does have a pull down attic and straight ahead is gonna be bedroom number two. This is going to be the primary. And we do have fortunately an en suite here in this one. Things are slowing down here as far as real estate sales. So that actually is a huge plus for buyers. Uh, when that happens, uh, we have sellers that typically are gonna be more flexible on price and terms. So if you are thinking about making that move, this is a great time uh, to go ahead and do so. Take advantage of the reduced competition compared to what we saw you know, five, six months ago. Another good size bedroom here. These are gonna be replacement windows that are in this home. We're now gonna make our way back to the other side of the home. And I like this home because we've got a lot of common space. Uh, we have our dining area right here. Your dinette would go there under the light fixture. And plenty of space here, about 
four bar stools uh, in the kitchen. We're going to actually uh, go in the kitchen here. Uh, there's another space directly ahead for your informal dinette. So we've got plenty of space here, a fairly open design here for a ranch style home. Our cabinets look fabulous. We've got two pendant lights there. I love what they did here with the backsplash. We've of course have the backsplash and the granite countertop, double bowl sink, plenty of counter space, as well as plenty of cabinet space. All right, directly ahead, this is going to be our oversized laundry slash utility slash storage area because you've got plenty of space in here to do all of those things. Our electric water heater sits there in the corner. Our washer dryer hookups are in the middle of the frame. And then notice you've got enough space if you wanted to do a folding table, if you wanted to do some additional shelving, uh, you could definitely do so. Let's go out back and see what we have in store in our backyard. All right, you can see someone loved to spend time outdoors because this back deck is almost as big as the front. So you can definitely set out some furniture and really enjoy this covered space. All right, this home is gonna be about a third of an acre. So we've got a really good sized lot. There is a small metal storage building and then a very substantial uh, storage building there. I don't have the key to that, uh, but I'm sure that you can see that it is a nice large uh, storage building. And once again, here on the rear, uh, I covered a home not long ago where I actually mentioned how the back of the home could be the front. And that's true here on this one. This could conceivably be the back of the home. Uh, very nice styling. Uh, they did a great job with the appeal both on the front and the back all right let's go back inside and see what else we have in store i truly appreciate the feedback i hear from some of my viewers uh every video and i really uh appreciate your support and kind words okay this is going to be our den and i love this because this could double as cave space oh, we've got enough space in here if we wanted to do large furniture, if you wanted to do a sectional, uh, you could definitely do that and make it work. Notice there are doors on both entrances, so you could completely close this space off and have good privacy. So a lot of good common space in this beautiful home. And uh, I think it would be a great option for one level of living uh, for individuals or families that needed such. If you have any questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. It would be an honor for me to help. Please remember that even if you are not in my area, I'd still be able to help. I'd be happy to put you in touch with a qualified, experienced real estate professional in your area that would take good care of you. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. I can be reached on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking a tour. Have a great day.